Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and it's Ruby time again. I'm moving on to the seventh chapter of the third volume and in the last chapter we really saw a couple of big things. Um, the first one was the reveal of the maidens which uh, were four girls who were given powers by an old man after helping him in his seclusion and we saw that the, the power was passed on to other young females um, and there was one residing within the school grounds in a you know, very bad way, in a sort of critical condition. Um, half of their power had apparently been stolen, and they wanted to fuse her and Pira together um, to try and save the other half, um, which could obviously have big ramifications on Pira because... You get fused of another personality. Who knows what's going to happen? We also saw Yang take on um, Mercury in the 1v1 um, match in the competition. And at the end of that, what we saw was Mercury trying to get a cheap shot um, on Yang. Or, you know, trying to just flat out attack her. So she did what we'd all do. She retaliated, busted his leg up. However, to everyone else, it kind of looked like... Uh, you know, she had done it with no provocation. She'd just done it because she was a bit of a bitch. And it looks like that worked. Um, I don't know what the fallout's going to be. I don't know if Team Ruby are going to be disqualified. Um, it's... I don't, see, I don't know what the objective of getting them disqualified would be. Or, you know, tarnishing their public reputation would be. Maybe they just want to win the competition. I don't know. Um, more needs to be revealed. And I'm sure some of it will be revealed in the next episode. So why don't we watch it? Enough chat. Let's react. I want to be strong. A beautiful ring for a beautiful woman. I'm sorry. I want to be feared. What? Impossible. What did it... I'm hearing things. I want to be powerful. I want to be powerful. Call the police. How did you do that? <sighs> How did you do that? Huh, ah, what's this? Is this a flashback? Don't. Unless, of course, you want them to hear you. I do not remember this from the last chapter. What do you want? I've already told you. And That's I'm Emerald. Like repeating myself. I didn't do anything. Just leave me alone. I know my fair share of liars and thieves. Stealing is an art of patience, coordination, and in a pinch, sleight of hand. But you didn't steal that ring in your pocket. You took it right ring. before the jeweler's eyes. Oh, so they've given us more information on the sleight of hand. Or the, the way that they can Who deceive people. You? Who is she? You will question everything you know. Is this about her induction? This is impossible. I wish to take on an apprentice. He lives in the mountains. His son. An apprentice? Follow me. And you'll never be hungry again. This is all very confusing. Okay. There's Mercury. Is, it, is this how they recruited them? I'm looking for Marcus Black. There you go. Oh. That's the assassin? Oh. And you're his son. Wow. He's the son of an assassin? He's taught you well. Yes, so. Did he kill him? What's your name? Mercury. Mercury. Tell me, are you anything like your father? So okay. what's in it for me? We don't need him. Everything was going fine. Ugh. Jealousy. Do not mistake your place. Jealousy between the apprentices. You need to know a city? Ask the rats. Well, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Is that Rowan? So, or Roman, sorry? Get this straight. You could have gone to anyone for help. You could have made a deal with a gang leader. They went to the White Fang. Some huntsman that had strayed from their righteous path. But instead, you choose to seek an audience with me. 
Oh no, it's the other guy. Um, we need. Your skill. Your ability to lead those beneath you. You're an exceptionally valuable man, Adam. And we've put a lot Adam. of thought into Then you're clearly not thinking straight. If you truly understood me, then you would know that coming here was a mistake. The White Fang is not an organization for hire. We're a force of revolution. So this is how they started working for them. Will be beneficial for all parties involved. I have an associate in Vale. Is that Roman? We're working on a revolution of our own, but we can't do it without your forces. Right, it's coming together for me now. What you need is to leave. You were asking my men to die for your cause, a human cause. That is not an idea I am willing to entertain. I like this. We get a bit more backstory on the villains and how they all came together in this alliance. What was that about? Nothing. Oh! We need to finish preparing. Train oh me. yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew, I remembered she was part of the White Fang, but um, so now, I didn't realize that it was. She was so close to the leadership. Remember the plan, exactly as discussed. Not a foot out of place. Who is this? Little Red Riding Hood? Is that the maiden? Is this how the maiden... They, did they attack the maiden and take half of her power? Was that a ring? Is that... Is that a disguise? It was an apple she took. Yeah, it's a disguise. How does she do that? That's such an impressive skill. Oh, she noticed. They're just gonna dodge at the last second. Yeah, that's the maiden. Wow, just blocks it with her hand. That's the type of power we're dealing with here. Oh, in comes Mercury. Whoa, she's burning him. He's got metal legs. I saw it. I mean, he, he had bandages on his legs. I didn't realize he had metal legs. Oh, shit. Okay, you really pissed her off. She's flying. Yeah, she's flying. Her eyes are on fire and she's flying. This is normal. And she's firing off lightning bolts. Is this what she wanted? Is she vulnerable right now? Razor Leaf! Wow, it really is Razor Leaf. Oh man, that would cut free you. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. She didn't block them. Oh, did she teach the others how to do it? Wow. I 
think three is going to be too much for her. Oh, that explains the bands. Oh man, she's really pissed off now. Did she just get stabbed in the back? Oh, dearie me. She's going to steal her power. Oh, that's a big arrow. Right in the back. Oh, is that a Grim? Oh, that's what the mark is on her face. Oh my god, what is she? How does she do that? Oh, someone's... Who's that? Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, man. So, if he hadn't saved her... She'd have taken her full power. Uh, sorry, her full power. Oh, yeah, run. Wow. The huntsman severed the connection before it was complete. Yes, it's an emptiness. It burns like hunger. Burns like hunger. I like it. Yes. I will claim what is ours. Thank you. So she's trying to get the rest of the power. We'll find her, sir. I swear on my life. Forget it. It's time I return to Mistral. And she's going to return to renegotiate. So is it going to be they help her get the rest of the power yes. and she helps their revolution? We could have gone to anyone for help, but we chose you, Adam Taurus. Our plan will be beneficial for both of us. Or one of us. Wow. They're offering dust and money. So, which will it be? Oh. What have happened if she'd have just dodged it? And that makes it even worse because he's got metal legs. So it's very unlikely she would have hurt his legs. Please, somebody help him. If anything, that should have hurt her more. <laughs> we need to get this boy to a hospital. Grab a blanket. It's a bit extreme than pointing weapons. You've already caused enough of a scene. Well, drop your weapons and she's not going to hurt anyone. Here, we've got an ambulance ready to go. Ah, uh, they just happen to be ready. They'll be okay. That girl won't leave his side. We'll take good care of both of them. Sneaky plan. Oh, Doc, tell me. Will I ever walk again? Ow! Huh. What's your deal? Uh, a headache. One mind I can handle, but two is a stretch. Well, you all performed marvelously. Oh, did she do it? Driver included. Was that Penny? Or well, who was that? I don't know who that was. Place this afternoon during the one-on-one rounds of the vital festival tournament. 
I don't know what Beacon's headmaster is teaching his students, but that was disgraceful. Completely uncalled for. Despite Atlas reinforcements, local authorities are still calling on any available huntsmen to aid in suppressing the spike in grim activity. Hey, I was watching that. There's a lot of... Shut up. Is this how you treat a patient? Ow, too tight. Enough. Al Mercury put on a wonderful show. He was quite brave. Our These Mercury, exactly as if there's another one. So what's next? You and I will ensure that our next matchup goes just as smoothly. Ah. Uh. What about me? You get to lay low until the end. We wouldn't want people to see you on your feet and have this all be for naught now, would we? Yep, you just relax, you okay. devious little bastard. Okay, so we uh, we learned a fair bit there about the the villain's backstory and and you know how this alliance came together uh, between Cinder, um, Emerald, and Mercury and the White Fang. At first, I didn't recognise it as being Cinder, um, probably because they were in different clothes and I've seen them in you know the very open and shot with um, with Emerald. Um, but it's interesting to see how they were recruited. I mean, I, I wonder what the I wonder what the spiel's been that that she that Cinder gave to Emerald and Mercury to convince them to come on board. Um, obviously, she's after power, and that's the only thing she's interested in. But I'm wondering if um, you know she's had some sort of other effect on them. So uh, yeah, it, it's good to catch up actually and see how the maiden lost her powers. And um, what the hell was that? I'm just trying to wonder what Cinder is because Cinder's got this grim in her hand that's able to steal the essence of a maiden. You know that seems to indicate that she's not quite human. Um, which it wouldn't be a far out proposition in a world like this, but still seems a bit um out there, you know. She definitely seems different from anyone else. And then her approaching Adam and the White Fang. It's interesting to see how close uh, Blake was with, you know, Adam and the White Fang. I, I knew she was part of the White Fang. I didn't know she was that close um, to the leadership. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. I'm wondering if, if she's going to know more about, um, you know, and surely does she, did she get a glimpse of... Um, Cinder, Emerald, and Mercury, because if so, I would have thought she'd have recognised, you know, when they showed up at the school. Um, but she mustn't have, because, you know, again, she would have she would have said, hey, aren't you the guys who align with White Fang? Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to imagine what the next step's going to be. It seemed pretty harsh, like, having a load of robot soldiers, or just, just soldiers in general, just surround uh, Yang with their guns pointed just because she attacked the students. I mean, can you imagine if that happened at every school? Oh, you had a fight. Guns up. You know. Um, yeah, it seemed a bit extreme. I've got a feeling they're going to get this disqualified from the, the competition until all hell breaks loose and, you know, uh, Yang's story is verified that, you know, Emerald is able to... I'm guessing she's, she's able to mask you know, people's bodies. Um, I, 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 obviously, it showed you her doing that to herself, which is very interesting, but the, the fact she's able to do it for other people, I thought she maybe taught the ability uh, to Emerald, uh, to Mercury and Cinder, but it looks as though she's just using her own ability on them, which is why she had the headache. The driver of the ambulance, was that Penny? I, I couldn't quite tell because the hair was different. The eyes were two different colours, which, um, if I remember correctly, uh, you know, Penny had two different eyes, and they were talking about using Penny as um, as part of their plan. You know, um, so I didn't recognise who that was, and I, I'm, I am just going on the assumption it was Penny. But yeah, I guess we'll find out more in the next episode. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you for the next episode.